Hi, I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas of Beverly Hills, California, and today I'd like to give you some more information of how you can find out about thyroid eye disease. Patients ask me all the time for more information about their disease and their specific circumstance. And whenever a patient inquires for a consultation, one of the things that we do is we direct them to our website with all the videos and our YouTube channel, but we also send them either a PDF or a physical copy of a thyroid eye disease book that details our commitment and approach to this disease and really offers a much more in-depth look at this disease process and what we can do to help to improve it. For example, our first of all is our commitment, and that is really to helping people with this disease. I've been a physician now for about 15 years dealing almost exclusively with thyroid eye disease patients, and our commitment is really to help to improve the process of this disease and, and really see the light at the end of the tunnel. And we do this from a variety of ways, really offering support through every phase of treatment. We offer a little bit about myself, our team, we also offer and tell a little bit about the thyroid eye disease book in which we have published for other physicians to use and some of our lectures and teaching and some of even the support groups. We also touch upon a little bit about the research in which we're conducting especially on basic science research and the use of tepratumumab which is found in other videos in our YouTube uh, channel. Then really offer some in-depth information about what is a customized approach to thyroid eye disease and that really varies from patient to patient and I often show patients before having thyroid disease after and then after rehabilitation and it's so important to really know a there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that all these changes that you've seen or even had surgery for that weren't completely corrected can be improved they may not be able to be improved 100%, but we can certainly make significant progress. And most patients get between 80 and 90% of their function and appearance back. So we start to talk about aesthetic reconstruction. And this is not cosmetic surgery. This is surgery that's done in an aesthetic way. I see no other way to do surgery except to do surgery to make someone look better. This is a disfiguring disease and it's really important to do surgery that's going to make you look and function better. There's no reason to make a, to do a surgery that's going to make someone look worse or feel worse about themselves. So we strive to make everyone feel better, look better, and function better. That's the really the goal in our commitment. There's a lot of things that go into that planning and we talk a little bit about the keys to surgical planning. And number one is your goals. What goal do you have? Most of my patients want to be themselves again. We say it's be you again because it really is. It's not looking like another person. It's just getting back to the things you enjoy, the social environment, and feeling and looking like the person you were before this disease happened. And then I start to talk a little bit about type of disease, how we can decompress, what else we can do. And it comes through a, a pretty complex algorithm of all the different options that you have that I kind of walk through in, during a consultation with a patient. And this can include non-surgical things, such as fillers, such as Botox, that can really help mask the disease to various stages of decompression or of other surgery that can move the eyes back, that can adjust the height of the eyelids, can remove a lot of the dark circles or the bulging, or even narrow the face, such as what we do with buccal fat removal, to re restore the V-shaped face that you had before this disease came along. So this book just helps to walk you through both patient examples and the idea behind why we do so many of these things. And it acts as a supplement, so there's something you can see. We often have this information online through videos, but this is a great way of just having it encapsulated in your hand primarily before a consultation after as we're getting ready to prepare it really helps to come in informed and to know exactly what you want because that helps to guide the conversation quite a bit thank you so much and please check out our youtube channel and look forward to your follow